Well, I'm Solomon. I'm an alcoholic. I've been sober. Oh, wrong meeting. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, name Solomon. Uh, I uh, at my heaviest, I was 550 pounds, and uh, since November 4th, I'm down about 170 pounds, which uh, I think is a pretty good thing. I'm getting to do a lot more things that I couldn't do before. Uh, the biggest thing was your activity level drops to nothing the heavier you're getting it's kind of a continual circle you know the the more you weigh the less you move well you know if you don't if you don't move you're just going to get heavier and you get heavier then you're going to die there's just no uh, no way around it so uh, you know the, the people that everybody there was exceptional and you know I, I know one of the things that, that worried me was that was the level of pain well, it was about, well, maybe a one. Uh, you know, I have this one belt that I happen to be wearing, and it has uh, the little holes all the way around it. And at first, I thought, well, I'd be happy to get rid of that. And now it's kind of a kind of something that I keep, and I don't wear it often, but I, I do wear it every now and then. And uh, um, yeah, let me. This is uh, this is where it started. At surgery, and this is where it is today. So, two, you, three. You know, if you ask every skinny person out there, well, what do you eat to stay skinny? I eat what I want. I don't know. Well, you know what? You eat what you want. But you have to realize that what you want isn't cake and ice cream and sugar and cheeseburgers. Well, maybe cheeseburgers, but that that's the one craving that hasn't left yet is a really good cheeseburger. But you, you know, you, you stay away from stay away from breads and stuff. Well, pretty soon, you don't crave them anymore. I mean, that, that, there's no other way to put it that it, you never completely lose that feeling. But hey, it gets manageable after a while. And if I hadn't done, if I hadn't elected to do this surgery, it would have never become manageable. You know, everything changes. You know, so your personality changes. Your you're more willing to stand up for yourself. You're willing to speak your mind. You're willing to push yourself to try new things. If you go to the trouble to have the surgery, decide that you're you like yourself enough to do the rest of it. Make sure you, it's work, you know. It, but every everything that's worth it in life is work, you know. Whether it's whether it's your job and you're successful at it, or, or take take it to a very personal level, wife and kids. Those are the toughest jobs you'll ever have. Well, losing weight's got to rank right in there, but it, it's it's got to be that same passion about wanting to, wanting the end result that you have to go for. I mean, it, it's it's. You know, everybody thinks when you get married, oh yeah, I'm married. We're going to be happy the rest of our lives. That's BS. Oh, I had a kid. He's going to be perfect. That's BS. Oh, I had. Uh, gastric surgery I'm gonna instantly be a skinny person well that's that's crap too you still got to work at it and you gotta you got to put the effort in it but you got to work the steps and the surgery is a tool yeah you know, it, it, it's plain and simple it's it is a tool you know